Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I am here with another general love tarot reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. Happy Venus Day to you Taurus, as you all may know or may not know. Fridays are ruled by the planet of Venus and Taurus and Libra are represented by Venus. So happy Venus Day to you Taurus and everyone else who is watching. I hope you had an amazing day today and happy Friday to you. But yes, Taurus, this will be a bonus reading for your sign. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading might resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. You may already be dealing with this energy currently, but before I do go ahead and get started, Taurus, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Taurus, so we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's go ahead and check in on the energy and the person that we have coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few cards for Taurus? What energy is Taurus currently dealing with? We have the Queen of Cups. First card that came out. What does Taurus need to know about this Queen of Cups energy when it comes to love? Who's this person that is coming towards Taurus or that Taurus is dealing with? King of Cups. So we have Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards. What else does Taurus need to know about this water energy that we do have with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups? Okay, we do have the Devil. Capricorn energy. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards, please, for Taurus. How does this person truly feel towards Taurus? We have another card. Five of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and get one more card, please, in regards to the energy that we do have. The Magician. Okay, Taurus. So we have our first few cards to get started. We have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. So some Pisces energy, water energy, so Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn energy with the Devil, Five of Pentacles, and the Magician. Taurus, I feel like there is somebody coming towards you or somebody that you're dealing with who is very expressive when it comes to their emotions. They're, they might be a sensitive person and they wear their heart on their sleeve, Taurus. Um... I'm going to use the word clingy, and you take that how you want to take it, Taurus, but I'm using that word clingy, um, not as, not for any offense to be taken, but it's like this person is clingy in the nature that they, they want to be around you, they want to be in your energy, they want to know what's on your mind, so maybe clingy isn't the best word, but they want to be very involved with you, Taurus. Um, they want to, I, I feel like this person's love language might be words of affirmation or reassurance or they value communication towards because they're trying to build a very strong connection with you. And one thing that I feel like this person fears Taurus and roles could be reversed so any energy feelings emotions actions that I'm describing that could be your person's feelings or how you feel Taurus but this person might fear being left alone with the five of pentacles or being left in the cold so it's like they they want to become attached attached is a better word they want to be involved and attached to you Taurus also with the devil energy just bound together like let me know that I have nothing to worry about that this isn't going to fade away one day or someday and depending on how you feel about that Taurus I feel like maybe you either appreciate how they let you know when you know that they want to be with you 
or it might be too overwhelming especially if this is a new person and you Taurus you don't want to jump into just starting something with this person no matter how good they make you feel um because Taurus is speaking from a Taurus perspective we we do need our space and when somebody like messes with that or even rushes us rushes us in some way and we we have told them or like let it be known how we operate and they they keep pressing the issue or not even the issue but they keep going at it we might feel provoked even if that's not this person's intention so i feel like maybe Taurus, you feel flattered by this person but then again like let me observe you on my own time that doesn't mean i'm going to stray away from this but don't scare me off don't push me away but this person wants to be very in tune with you um and it's like with this person's emotions and how they like to express themselves and communicate they're looking for a deep connection with the queen of cups and the king of cups so they want to understand you taurus they want to hear you out um, but they also expect the same in return. This is also a person who might feel neglected when or if they're they're expressing themselves to you, but you're not matching their energy. And it's not like you're ignoring them or being dismissive about them, but this person needs that reassurance or they, they feel more comfortable with that reassurance because, like I said, Taurus, this person doesn't want to be left out in the cold. Um, with the magician coming out Taurus, I'm going to pull some more cards, but I, I feel like this person, um, they, maybe insecurity is a theme of this person's energy, not like they're, they're so insecure, but just viewing you Taurus, viewing you as the magician and viewing you as a very attractive, abundant person. So it's like when the fact that you're getting to know them Taurus they're not trying to overthink it but they want to keep you they they want this and we'll know more with the cards next to come but they feel like you can have anybody you want Taurus so that might if you do feel like this person is a bit clingy or their energy is overwhelming overbearing like this person for sure reminds you that they're there um could be the type to send you multiple texts at once or you know that you'll always hear from them Taurus Maybe you, Taurus, you appreciate, like I've been saying, you appreciate this person's energy and what they've been showing you. And this is some, um, like, qualities that you've always wanted in a partner. So you could have manifested this person, but I feel like this person views you as a creator, someone who can have anything, anyone that you want. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get a few more cards. What else does Taurus need to know about this energy that we do have? What else is coming towards Taurus? We have the Three of Wands. Can we please get a few more cards for Taurus in regards to the, to the Magician and the Three of Wands? Okay. We do have the Seven of Swords, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about the Three of Wands? Ace of Cups. All right, Taurus, let's see what this is about. Can we please get some clarification on the Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, also the Ace of Cups, please, for Taurus. The Hierophant. Let's see what the Hierophant is about, Taurus. Anything else that is coming up for Taurus, please? And what does Taurus need to know about the Hierophant and the rest of the energy that we have. Two of Swords. Let's just get one more card, Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Okay, and the Six of Wands fell out, Taurus. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So, Taurus, keep in mind you are the Magician. Um, like what you think of what you dream of it can be yours just believe that and if there's any work that needs to be done which there's always work to be done try to get on that so you can have it or be prepared for it 
rest of the cards that we have, we have the Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups. We do have the Hierophant. We also have Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. Also, referring to the bottom of the deck with the Page of Cups, this person does have a huge crush on you, Taurus. Um, but the thing is, I, I feel like they're going to let that be known right away. And like Tauruses, we, you may have heard it before, Taurus, but we don't like being rushed because we already have a plan that will work out for us. And meanwhile, that plan is to not step on anyone's toes, if that makes sense. Like you're, we're not trying to keep a person waiting, but sometimes people need to wait. Uh, because I, I feel like Tauruses have a good sense of timing and common sense, like what what is right, what feels right. So we're going to do what is best for us. But during that whole speculation process, we're also thinking about the whole thing, like the full, the full circle, the bigger picture. So I feel like this person, Taurus, they really want you, but they might be a little bit over overbearing with their energy or they're a little bit overwhelming and maybe you Taurus you think about how that could affect how you feel in the long run even if this person is showing you good things if it's annoying you now then it might annoy you later and then when later comes around it might be a bigger thing so I feel like you Taurus you're still looking at your options or you're not just so set on this one person we have the three of wands you're looking to like you have your eye on something, you have like your mind on something already, you're just preparing to go for it. And I'm gonna maybe get into two separate energies, Taurus, because we do have the two of swords. For some of my Tauruses out there, you might have two different love offers or options or people to know, get to know, and you're still making up your mind, but you know what feels right for you, Taurus. So in regards to the three of wands, maybe this is this person doesn't have your full attention. But then again, you you might this is for my Tauruses who want something more with this person. Um, you might decide to go towards them, but you have to set the record straight with the Hierophant. Like you two have to have a conversation or you need to um T tell them how you feel what maybe annoys you irritates you like just slow down like I know what I want with you eventually and we're getting to that point but there's no need to bombard me or make me feel overwhelmed even if that's not their intention Taurus um, as we're getting to know people and building relationships in order for them to work we we need to understand one another better and that could come through learning about one another and accommodating one another and i feel like this person is willing to do it towards we have the queen of cups and the king of cups they want to understand you they want to know you tap into your mind better so we have the hierophant there may need there may be the need for a conversation that lays out your boundaries with this person that's what i get from it taurus for my other tauruses out there well before i get on to that point um, it's because you see the potential in this Taurus, the Ace of Cups. This person has real love for you, unconditional love. And I feel like this person has been making you feel flattered and appreciated. And maybe you feel like this person, like being with them, your love can grow into the Ace of Cups energy. Seven of Swords is for my Tauruses who maybe choose to de depart from this person they might just be too much for you Taurus and that's understandable so walking away with your swords knowing exactly what you left but not feeling bad about it because like I said Taurus you're the magician also with the six of cups you you can have anything that you set your mind to you have the support you have know that there's people Taurus that love and care about you um and if that is not how you feel, Taurus, there's so many other people in the world who who view you as powerful, who want success for you, who 
see greatness and potential from you so you've got the support Taurus and you don't if you don't feel that Taurus try to feel it from yourself just give yourself credit Taurus and you can find that in how far you've come so just keep that in mind Taurus you are the magician all right Taurus so we're just gonna get a few signs to see what sign you might be dealing with can we please get a sign for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus Aries let's go ahead and get another card for or another sign for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus okay Virgo came out we're gonna do another roll Taurus let's get a sign for Taurus Taurus again Taurus again could be dealing with the Taurus another Taurus Capricorn so the devil energy let's get another sign for Taurus please Libra what sign might Taurus be dealing with Sun Moon Rising Venus Capricorn Libra Sagittarius all right Taurus so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always I appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye